three, two, one. Engine's full power. And lift off. The crew six. Go Dragon, go Falcon. We are back at 7.30 with that spectacular sight in the Florida sky overnight, a successful SpaceX launch. The Crew-6 astronaut mission now heading to the International Space Station, and our guy who covers space, Tom Costello, joins us from the Kennedy Space Center. And once again, my friend, you had a front row seat. How'd it go? How'd it look? Yeah, pretty Pretty spectacular, 12.34 a.m. this morning. We were delayed by a few days because they had a clogged filter issue they had to work out, but then, just after midnight, they lifted off the historic launch pad 39A, which has lifted off Apollo missions and shuttle missions, and now we have Crew-6 headed for the International Space Station. On board, a crew of four, and they include two Americans, as well as an astronaut from the United Arab Emirates and a Russian cosmonaut. Now, that is the second Raj... Russian cosmonaut to go up on a U.S. spacecraft in the last six months. By the way, Americans are going up also on Russian spacecraft. And that's despite the fact that America and Russia right now, the relationship is right now at its worst in decades with the war in Ukraine. I've asked all the crew members, both Russians and Americans, how do you deal with that on the station? That's a lot of tension. Do you discuss Putin and do you discuss Ukraine or do you just leave it off the table? And all of them said, we don't go there. We've got very important issues. Our lives depend on each other. We simply don't talk politics. And Russia and America continue this relationship in space because they're partners in the International Space Station and they need each other. And so this crew, which will dock to the station tomorrow, is arriving just as they've also had some drama on the station. They've had two Russian spacecraft over the last few months develop leaks, uh, coolant leaks. One of them, uh, a, a cargo ship, they had to free up and let go, and it burned up in the atmosphere on reentry. The other one, a Soyuz spacecraft, was supposed to be the lifeboat in case they had to evacuate the station. So they had been without a lifeboat for one American and two Russians. Russia just launched another replacement lifeboat, a Soyuz, last week. But that's been the concern. What has been causing these micro leaks? They think it's a micro meteor strike that have taken out the coolant systems on a Soyuz and a Progress cargo ship. Again, they dock tomorrow, six months on the space station, doing some 200 experiments. So a lot of universities are watching very closely mm. to see their experiments mm. are going to be uh, completed. Guys, back to you. All right. Cool. Uh, cool Tom stuff. Costello there from the Kennedy Space Center on that SpaceX launch. Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.